<laughs> Hi everyone we have the California Attorney General and future California's governor Rob Bonta with his beautiful wife Mia Bonta who is a state assembly member in California both of them are doing a great public service and we are really honored to have them here in Pleasanter at Jojo Hills residence for a big community support by Indian Americans including Punjabi Americans at large welcome sir to your india tv with me jasleen khanuja how's the feel overall wonderful feel uh, happy inspired excited grateful to be here mm-hmm. uh, once again at jojo hall's home with uh, a vibrant strong powerful indian american community mm-hmm. um, including very powerful sikh community mm-hmm. uh, to uh, express my gratitude to them and to continue to build our friendship and i'm just honored for the support so mm-hmm. um, i'm feeling inspired and excited mm-hmm. And what are the latest and greatest issues or what is something in news that you would like to share, you know, on the current front? Well, two areas that we continue to put front and center and to prioritize our resources on are public safety, mm-hmm. enhancing public safety throughout mm-hmm. California, mm-hmm. Um, including taking on issues like our fentanyl crisis, human trafficking, hate crimes, um, illegal guns, um, and just making sure that we are organized retail crime making sure that we're addressing public safety to the fullest extent and making sure that uh safety is something that everyone who wants uh, it and deserves it who is everybody mm-hmm. has it and so continuing to fight in that space also housing mm-hmm. trying to make a uh, create a more affordable california making sure there's more opportunities to own a home or rent a home for more californians that's one of our biggest challenges so those are just two um but we uh, the great thing about the job is on any issue on every issue we have a role to play so mm-hmm. we're very active and um very engaged on every issue facing Californians. Perfect. I know that's why you have gained so much of support and you know everyone is appreciating you and I know Mia as a wife and also as an elected official as an incumbent you are supporting your husband in all ways. So tell us a little more about what's up at your end. Oh, on my end I'm happy to be able to support the community uh, as an elected official representing Oakland, Alameda and Emeryville. Mm-hmm. Uh and I really love the diversity and so th- of our community and that we're able to really lift up and celebrate uh small businesses, people who are working every single day to make sure that we can be strong together. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, you know, for Sikh Americans uh, fighting against the hate crime has always been the key, you know. Um I can't really say that the situation has improved, but it's really under control what's your take as an official legal uh, authority we manage the, st- the statistics mm-hmm. each each year uh, mm-hmm. for hate crimes and the hate crimes continue to be a challenge mm-hmm. and a threat too many people are being attacked because of who they are where they're from how they look mm-hmm. who they love how they pray and we need to do more uh, to protect them and support them hold those accountable who are engaged in hate crimes mm-hmm. and so um some of the data is a little bit difficult to interpret um some we've encouraged more people to report and when more people report mm-hmm. then more hate crimes are reported mm-hmm. um but it doesn't necessarily mean that more hate crimes are are, are happening mm-hmm. uh, but they're still way too high mm-hmm. and and any hate crime one hate crime is too many mm-hmm. so we will continue to uh, educate hold folks accountable and help victims and survivors heal so alameda county is one such county in which uh, affordable housing continues to be an issue and as rob mentioned he is also um, you know uh, taking it forward so what's your take on this and what are your steps uh, to uh, counter this i think it's a top priority of the legislature it's definitely one of my top priorities to make sure that alameda county especially has affordable housing that we can get housing built in a timely manner and that for people who are developing housing they have the ability to bring housing into our community so uh, i think everybody is feeling the urgency of making sure that we have everybody have a roof over their head because when you have a roof over your head you can be a contributing member of our community you have the ability to be a part of a family and you have the ability to have the dignity of housing so it's absolutely important 
Joining us is also Joe Johal, who is supporting this event in a big way. You know, it's your residence. It's not the first time that you have uh, supported Rob Bonta and his able wife Mia, and the whole community is here. So tell us a little more about the cause and how do you perceive uh, the um, role Rob is playing so far. R Rob has been a big part of the community. I mean, his biggest strength is his accessibility. Anytime we need Rob for anything. He's always there for us. Not only he's there, but he always comes through. As our community is growing, the Asians becoming more and more relevant. Uh, and Rob has been a big part of that for not only here today, but anytime, any events, I don't know how he does it. <laughs> with everything going on with the family in the last month, he hasn't missed a beat. So we thank you, Rob, and also Mia, for everything you do at the Assembly now. And uh, we have some challenges. We all know that. We've got to work together and move things forward. And uh, we thank you for always being there for us. Wonderful people, but today you get me. But the good news is, is that I know this guy better than anybody in this room. Because I've known him since he was 17 years old. Aww. Rob and I have been together for 35 years. Aww. We've been married for 26. So right now Rob is getting really nervous because I've known this guy for 17 years. Uh, but I did want to just share with you Often when you hear from elected officials and politicians, you get to hear about their platform, what they believe in, what they plan to do, but you often don't get to hear the why. And you certainly don't really get to hear the who. So I wanted to just share a little bit who this guy is so that you get a sense of all that he is from the time that he was growing up and the time that we were growing up together. Uh, Rob is a guy who's always there for everyone. I say that and I know it to be true because when we were crossing uh, to the dining hall and what would, should, should have been a five minute walk would often turn into an hour and a half walk because along the way he would talk to every single person and he would know their story from the time that they talked to him the time before. And if they looked a little forlorn or upset, he would say, it's okay. And he would try to figure out how to help them. That's the guy who he is. Rob played soccer. He, we have a child who is taking after uh, him as well, uh, which is amazing. We met at Yale and had that opportunity, but when he was playing soccer, he was uh, a wonderful soccer player, but he played with grit and with, uh, with intention, and he was a hacker. For any of you who know sports, a hacker is not necessarily a good thing. It's the guy who is willing to pull at your shorts, pull at your back, you know, do whatever it takes to make sure that your team is successful. Whatever it takes. And that's who you have in this guy. Rob is a father of daughters and a son who's with us today. When you are a father of daughters, it means that you will do anything, anything, including carrying your little princess to Disney when she's five years old and making sure that her feet don't touch the ground for eight hours straight because she wills it so. When you are a father of daughters, you respect a woman and all that she values. You expect and respect the economic value that she brings, that she has a mind and ability to open a business, to speak her voice, to speak out loud. And that's who you have in this gentleman. Rob is somebody who knows what work looks like. When we were in college, one of the ways that he got himself through college, on a scholarship and with loans and all that, was because in addition to playing soccer and being a stellar academic person, he worked in the laundries. He cleaned up after people, his fellow classmates, to make sure that he could get through college. Imagine that. So one day, you're in the laundry room folding someone's clothes 
and picking up the dust and the lint that came from their dirt. And then the next moment, you're in a classroom with them. And you're holding your own and you're being strong and you're being powerful. And you know that you deserve the right to be there in one of the most elite institutions in the world. This guy works. He works with grit, with intention, and with honor. So when he talks about supporting businesses, when he talks about supporting workers, when he talks about honoring, making sure that we have a strong economy, he does that from a place of knowing, from a place of belonging. And the last thing I want to say is, as you all know, Rob is a Filipino American. He is one of the first Filipinos in the California, the first Filipino in the California State Legislature. And what he knows is that he got there because there were others along the way who couldn't quite get into the California State Legislature. But he got there. And the first thing that he did was make sure that others should come through. So when he talks about representation and what it means to make sure that the API community is represented and heard and has a voice, he does that because he knows what it means when we don't. So this is the guy that you're getting. Now, I'm his wife, so of course I have wonderful things to say about him. But you also know, wives and husbands, that sometimes we don't have always nice things to say about our spouses. <laughs> uh, and I always keep it true and always keep it honest, but I wanna say that with this guy, you are getting the real deal. He's been that way since I knew him when he was 17 years old, and he will be that way for the next decades to come. And so I'm so thankful that we get to celebrate his leadership and the opportunity before him as a California State Attorney General and whatever else might come beyond that because he's gonna lead us into this future, lead us together into a California future. Thank you. Thank you, that was wonderful. So Rob, what's your message to all the viewers of You in Their TV? There is nothing that we can't do if we do it together. Uh, we do have challenges, uh, but we can overcome them. If we have each other's back, take care of one another, look after each other, and as your California Attorney General, I'm taking care of you and looking after you and fighting for you. Perfect, and you want to say something also? And I just want to appreciate the Indian community, Sikh community, Punjabi community, making sure that you all know that we hold you very close to our hearts and what we need to do be able to ensure that California can be a great state with you at the center. Um, Rob is a great individual and uh, he's worked his way up in uh, government, uh, starting from uh, Alameda County Hospital, uh, and then uh, council member of Alameda, uh, assembly member, and now our attorney general. And uh, through it all, uh, Rob has been a great fighter for the people. Um, he remembers his humble roots, uh, came from nothing uh, with his parents uh, marching in the labor movement, and uh, he fought for justice and fairness and to make sure everybody had a seat at the table. And he's also one of the few Filipino leaders who uh, serves us in the state. And so we're hoping for great things from Rob. Uh, this is just the beginning. As we all say, we are the same family and I know Rob for a few years. What a gentleman, tough on crime, at the same time, well balanced. Guys, we know a lot of attorney generals of the past. They're all good people, but something very special I see in him. If you meet him in person, you'll see how he gets you close to his heart. And his vision is very clear. And the something I like about him is, is a, like a next door neighbor whom you can reach and share your problems, share your situation. He's always there. So wholeheartedly support this man because this man will make the difference for all of us. He'll represent us the best, and he's the man. Rob, thank you very much for coming here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will say this, as the Chief Constitutional Officer of the great state of California, the Attorney General has trailblazed on many issues. He is a rising star, 
not only in California, but every time I go to the DNC and talk to a couple of people out there, and they'll always come back and say, ah, Rob Bonta. So certainly you've done amazingly well. One of the greatest things about politics is to recognize that people care about this. And I will say this, winning office is not easy. You may get unopposed, you know, unopposed but it doesn't often happen that way. He's fought for everything that he's had to work for, but every time he's done that, he's won with a thundering victory. California is a place where I believe you're going to rise to whatever you want to rise to. Coalition building is all about what it is. You lead, you're a man of conviction, and I'll tell you, there's been never a greater uh, political official in California's history as Rob Bonta. So once again, thank you for everything you do. Well, I want to thank Joe and his family for hosting this for the Attorney General. I've known the Attorney General for a while and his wife, Mia, for a while. You know, they you know, they know my, my son and his family and I've known him, watched him kind of rise up in the ranks. I was really pleased when the governor appointed him. And you know, what kind of surprises me about Rob is every time I see him on TV, it's like, wow. You're doing such a great job. It's like he's on top of everything, and he's everywhere doing so much good work for this state. So um, I couldn't be more proud of him and the position he presently holds, uh, leading our, you know, being the top law enforcement officer in the state of California. There's a lot to be done in this state, a lot of issues, a lot of concerns. And like I said, it just amazes me that Rob seems to be on top of everything, on the cutting edge of everything. And I mean everything. So this is District 1. It used to be my district, District 4, but now it's David Halbert's district. But I still want to claim it as my district. So welcome to District 1, previously 4. And once again, Rob, I know you're going to, you're going to do well. You keep working hard. You know, stay humble, stay strong. I know you, you and your wife just celebrated an anniversary, right? Yeah, congratulations on that. So keep it up, and we've got your back, my brother. Okay. Gentlemen, today we gather here to acknowledge the leadership and dedication of our own California Attorney General Rob. Your unwavering commitment to justice, equality, and the well-being of California has made truly a positive impact in lives of many, many people. Through the, your legal expertise and advocacy, you have shown us the power of public service in shaping a better future for our state. Thank you, Rob, for your tireless efforts and dedication to the people of our state. Thank you. You want to talk about the civic engagement to the community as a whole? Yeah, I mean, I think that, that is the biggest opportunity for us, uh, for the API community. We have done well with businesses, with pharmaceutical, with education. Where we haven't done well is the engagement. Uh, we're being almost 6% of the population in the country, and the elected officials for the Asian community are still less than a percent, I believe. We need to work hard on teaching our kids the value of civic engagement and we need to make sure the number gets better. Otherwise, you can't complain about what happens to us. So <laughs> go do your job. <laughs> <laughs> so be politically involved, support good leaders like Rob Bonta and Mia Bonta, and be a part of the community that can speak for itself uh, through able leaders. Um, and step forward, never miss to vote. Uh, that's uh, a message and look forward, Rob, to you being the next governor of <laughs> California. <laughs> Thank you. So stay tuned in for that news in 2026. Until then, <laughs> keep watching Year India TV. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. <laughs>